guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this vlog this isn't actually a weekly vlog my intention was for this to be a weekend vlog however i am catching up with you a little bit later than i had intended um we are away in kent this weekend so in last week's vlog you will have seen that we went to the Eras tour and it was honestly incredible i am the biggest Taylor Swift fan. I have been a fan for like 13 or 14 years. Massive, massive fan. So that was just first ever concert I'd also been to. So it was just incredible, like so amazing. And my voice is probably sounding a little bit hoarse because I was screaming the songs because I'm a very, very big fan. There wasn't a single song I didn't know, which yeah, was just lovely. But we decided as Jake had a few days off that we would head down to Kent, which is where Jake is from for the weekend. And I think we all know at this stage how much I come back to life outside of London. So I'm really, really excited. I did actually spend today working, which is not, not so fun, not so exciting, not so interesting, but I wanted to get last week's vlog up and ready. I also had a few soul shadow uploads to do because I had taken like basically the full day to line up to watch Taylor Swift, which no regrets. So I've spent a few hours at doing some work. It's now five o'clock, so it's the evening basically, but we also went and watched, well, I went and watched Jake's um, nephew play football this morning, which was also really, really lovely. Jake is not here today. He is had some stuff he needed to do. So I'm kind of fending for myself for the day, which I do know this area relatively well as um, I've been with Jake for a long time and I did live here, but it was a little while ago and I'm like testing myself on the road navigations because um, yeah, just it's lost in my brain. It was well before Dubai. It was kind of during like COVID time. So even before then, before COVID even broke out. So it's a long time ago now. Um, but yes, I have decided to bring myself on a lovely long walk this evening in one of my favorite spots. Um, it is a really lovely warm day and I thought down by the beach it would be a little bit too busy, but this spot is one of my favorites because there is the Roman forts that she's just over there, which is so gorgeous. And it's always quite a quiet beachy walk if the tide is out. So my plan is to kind of get myself going. So let's see if the cafe's open. I don't think it will be. Um, and let's go for a nice long walk. We also love a cafe that is still open at 5 p.m. That is like so unheard of in the UK. That was a very lovely surprise um, to see it open so I could get my iced matcha for a nice long walk. Completely not on topic, but I actually followed someone on Instagram who does foraging and she was saying how easy it is to forage on the UK beaches for seaweed salads. I'm obviously not going to do this today because I'm not sure if it's safe. She did say most of them are safe, but I also think Jake's parents will think I'm nuts. But I just, I've been looking at the seaweed just thinking that because there are so many different varieties on this beach. But yeah. I must admit that sometimes there is nothing more healing nothing more refreshing than just a change of scenery for me some ocean air always does me really good given that that is very much in my blood ocean air but yeah sometimes there's just nothing nicer than firstly a change of scenery secondly being in nature um and I think like thirdly as well just really taking time to slow down I've loved when I come here and there's no reception because it means that I can chat to you guys but no one else can get hold of me which is I love <laughs> um and yeah I just I really do think that sometimes honestly how gorgeous is this walk um I just think getting out on a walk is the best just shift and change your perspective and like almost energy reset obviously you can do a sage cleanse you can do some yoga I think I'm gonna hopefully have some time to do some yoga when we get when I get back 
Um, but it's just been really funny coming on this walk because I've been really, I think I mentioned earlier that I used to live for a little while, about 18 months, almost two years, I lived in and around here. And it's really funny, like coming back all these years after, oh gosh, it's so pretty, but it's really funny coming back all these years after and just reflecting on like how things have changed and the mindset I was in then and like, my job's completely different now, like so much has changed. So yeah, it's always just a nice little, just reflection moment. Um, but anyway, I'm going to continue walking and just enjoy the, I'm almost back now. I've taken a really, really long route, which is always my favorite. So yeah, I have come away. I have definitely not come before. <laughs> it's looking a little bit treacherous, but I thought I'd, if this is the last you hear from me, I'm literally like walking through <laughs> bushes. I feel like I've taken, I haven't taken a wrong turn. It is gorgeous though, but. I feel like, oh no, I can see like brambles. Hopefully it's gonna be worth it. It is absolutely stunning though up here. Like I'm grateful that I took this way, but we'll see literally like, oh my God, I don't think I can go down there. I think I'm gonna have to turn back. You've literally got like a huge blackberry bush here. Yeah, no, I have made a wrong, wrong, wrong turn. I have never seen a blueberry bush before. Literally the first time ever. it is now tuesday we're back in london i think the last time i checked in with you was saturday so over the weekend we had a really very fleeting but lovely weekend outside of london which is always just my absolute favorite thing um and to be honest sunday was really 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 chilled and then we drove back in the evening it's about two hour drive back so not too bad um yesterday was actually the aquarius full moon and i didn't vlog yesterday because to be honest with you i was exhausted i had a few things i needed to do but other than that i took a very chill day because i had actually done quite a lot of work over the weekend so i thought you know what i'll give myself a nice chilled monday but today is now tuesday and i thought that i would start my day with because i was a bit too tired yesterday to do my aquarius full moon everything because it is a super moon this month i decided to do it this morning and i've had quite the full moon morning i've done an energy cleanse i've done self reiki i've done eft tapping i have done meditation i've pulled cards i've journaled i have really had a very high maintenance um full moon little ritual morning which has been really really lovely i also pulled some cards which was very accurate and very needed um pulled some really good cards about um just kind of what i'm moving through at the moment full moons are always about shifting and releasing and letting go so also the questions there of like what i'm letting go of and things like that um so that was really really lovely and i've just really been sitting with the energy of this full moon there's a lot of energies flying around at the moment so obviously this is going up a little bit like a week after this has sort of happened but if you have been feeling any of these like wild energies that are kind of going around feeling really drained feeling really tired as well that's 
also very much in alignment with what's kind of going on up there in the cosmos then no you're not alone because i feel like i have been feeling it times one million um i have leo and taurus in my chart and apparently those are some of the ones being affected quite a lot by what's going on with the current transits so i've definitely been feeling that quite deeply but the real question that the aquarius full moon kind of comes with especially given that it's in leo season is this like who am i becoming who am i showing up as which is such a good question it's actually the biggest question that i have taken with me to therapy is about just like refinding who i am but also maybe not even a refinding like discovering for the first time um on a really like deep and authentic level so that question i've kind of been sitting with today and over the past day or so of like who am i becoming but more importantly than that like who am i no longer and what am i letting go of and what boundaries do I now have and what no longer works for me and that has been really really resonating so that might be a little prompt for you too if you're on this healing journey and you're moving through some of the similar energies going on generally at the moment is what am I letting go of who am I no longer who do I no longer want to be and hopefully that takes you a little bit closer to then who it is you are becoming or who it is you want to be um so yes that has been my morning, quite a slow morning, which has been quite nice. My plan for the afternoon is, is I actually have another YouTube video to film, our Thursday upload. I'm filming a updated yoga journey video, which is so overdue. Um, I've done two of these before on my channel, but like the last one I think was three years ago, because I think it was a four year, I'm now on the seven year yoga journey so i'm gonna try and keep it really short and concise but i need to film that this afternoon so i can get it edited tomorrow tomorrow i am also in a photography studio to film i think a class and some content i think i'm just gonna do one class and then just a few little chilled bits of content tomorrow but i am in a photography studio tomorrow and i think i'm gonna spend some time co-working with a friend as well tomorrow so tomorrow is quite a social day for me so trying to keep today quite chilled my plan for the afternoon as i said is to film that youtube video and then i think i'm gonna take myself out you guessed it on a walk i also want to do a yoga practice so it's just like something really gentle and lovely this afternoon so that is the plan but the best thing i can do right now is get this video filmed so that i know it's done and i can begin to relax for the rest of the afternoon because it is a little bit later now so let's get going welcome to today's video which is my updated yoga journey if you hello guys i'm currently out on my evening walk i thought i'd check in with you before i get to slightly busier area of the park um I did a really lovely gentle yoga practice and I just come out of my walk I've actually been listening to a new audiobook on Spotify I am loving Spotify audiobooks at the moment it is called I think it's called the eldest daughter effect and I am an eldest daughter so I'm finding that incredibly interesting um it's actually hitting a little bit more than I kind of expected so I'm finding that incredibly interesting so if you are also an eldest daughter you may love that one sorry passing someone there but yeah i'm currently loving um just books that are very much focused on self-discovery there's a low branch coming um and that one is so interesting and like yeah just very like exposing to self my hair is honestly crazy um but on the topic of books i'm not sure why we're talking about books when i walk but I feel like I've shown you a lot of walks in this vlog already so yes so my other book that I'm reading is Throne of Glass and I know that we'd spoken about I think I'd mentioned I was reading Spark of the Everflame I've left that because the last book isn't out yet and I just don't know if I can do the third book without knowing that the fourth book is on its way so we're waiting for that so I was like too invested so I actually moved on to throne of glass i am very very nearly finished the first book i have heard incredible things about this series it is rather slow to start but i am almost finished and it did pick up towards the end so i actually haven't walked this way before and it's so pretty but yes 
that is currently, I guess, the two books I'm currently reading. I'm still working my way through If Women Rose Rooted as well. Um, but yeah, that is currently my reading list. Do like let me know if you guys end up reading any of these because I would just love to know how you find them. Comment below, let me know. But yeah, the plan for the evening is a very chilled evening after this. Probably finish Throat of Glass now and start the next one. And then tomorrow, as I mentioned, I have a filming day for Soul, Soul Shadow. So I have not much tomorrow, just a yin class, maybe some content. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. I'm walking past like the prettiest country house currently. Can you just imagine living there? Because I can't. And honestly, is that not just a dream? Insane. I will not lie, it is beginning to look the hintiest bit of autumnal out here. Like there are leaves on the ground, it's coming, which is very exciting. But one thing I didn't mention earlier is I did a really in-depth tarot pull for the Aquarius full moon. I actually haven't read tarot in ages actually probably a month which is quite a long time for me that I haven't pulled out the tarot so obviously we've been on holiday and things have been busy but I've obviously pulled oracle and stuff but that was didn't realize how long it had been but that was great that was very accurate for this current chapter if I'm honest so it was very interesting um but yeah that was very very good but with that being said I'm very very nearly at the end of my walk so I think I will log off for the evening and I will check in with you tomorrow all prepped and ready for filming tomorrow. I need to go home and pack my stuff and just make sure I'm all ready for the day. Good morning guys. I have just whipped my phone out to check in with you very quickly. It is Wednesday. I am on the move because I have a co-working morning this morning and then this afternoon I am filming some new classes. So I've just arrived to the space where I'm going to co-work and where the studio is where I film classes. So I'm going to run in, get myself set up, and we will get on with the day. I think I have a friend who's going to come and co-work with me, which will be really, really nice because I feel like I just haven't like been out and about for a really long time. So I think this is going to be a really nice morning, quite chilled because I have a lot of editing to do. And then this afternoon, we have new classes to create. Welcome back to Soul Shala and welcome to today's yin class which is called A Soft Embrace. This yin class has been designed to be there for you when life maybe is feeling a little bit hard, overwhelming, a little bit much and you just need a space to come to. meant to check in with you a little bit earlier but it was so windy on my walk that it just wasn't working so happy thursday as you will have seen yesterday i wasn't able to sort of check in with you guys that much i spent most of the morning co-working with a really really lovely friend she's actually um also the very very lovely soul behind a lot of my photography for soul travel stuff and also she's just fantastic at branding so i will link her below just in case there are any other yoga teachers maybe london based or uk based or whatever um but yes we spent the morning together and we were co-working catching up i haven't seen her in ages and then for the afternoon i was in a photography studio filming classes for soul shala which is always just so so lovely it's usually the highlight of my week every couple of weeks um but it was really really fantastic i got an awful lot done however those days are often so exhausting because i am usually batch filming so it was quite a tiring day but it was lovely and it is now thursday i actually had a bit of a 
plan this morning. I wasn't up as early as I normally am just because I think my body's, like as I said, is always a little bit tired after a filming day because we're fitting a lot in. Um, but also I think it is probably due to the fact that it is a little bit overcast, a little bit gloomy today, which I hate to be devil's advocate. I am very, very, very appreciative for. Um, I find that sometimes the like summer heat, especially in London, is a little bit much. It's a little bit stifling, a little bit muggy. So actually today it feels just that a little bit fresher. Um, I can wear a cardigan. It's just really, really nice. Um, so yes, that is lovely. It got me thinking a little bit this morning when I was actually on my walk. And whenever I'm on my walks, I always take this time to try and I don't know, it's just a really good time to tune into myself, but also kind of tune into Mother Earth. And it was really interesting. As I was sort of on my walk, I was noticing that like, we're very much in that sort of like late summer energy now. We're in that second half of August. And it's really interesting to see like, when you look at nature around you, there is this element of like, Things are beginning to die, things are beginning to dry out. There's definitely this feeling of um, just this beginning to come inwards feeling. And it got me really thinking about like probably how many of us also feel that, that sort of like summer burnout, that summer like my stores, my energy is beginning to dry up. And that feeling, especially sort of late August, where we're very much beginning to feel like it's time to recoup, it's time to come back inwards, which is... Honestly, I've been waiting for this feeling because I think I've been feeling that a little bit more just throughout the summer anyway. But yeah, I think I just was coming to my mind this morning was this thought about like that end of summer feeling of I'm tired, I'm ready to retreat. Maybe feeling a little bit burnt out from all of that like fiery energy. We're in like pitta season in summer, which is that fire season, that sort of like very outgoing very extroverted energy and naturally towards the end of that we can begin to feel a little bit tired and a little bit burnt out and just a little bit dry and depleted so yeah it really got me thinking this morning that you know what if you're feeling that that makes complete sense also just astrologically at the moment we've had a big full moon this week we've also got mercury retrograde so if you are feeling this like exhaustion and wanting to just slow everything down you are so allowed to if you're watching this sort of when it goes live but um yeah that is very much how i'm feeling as i'm feeling just a little bit tired a little bit dry of energy which is absolutely fine we do not mind that but yes that was a lovely way to start the morning i ended up going on a walk a little bit later than i usually do but it really still set me in exactly the energy i need the plan for the day is i would like to try and get my work done for the week today so that i can spend tomorrow having a little clean of our apartment which is very boring but I have a class I need to edit along with some other just more admin -y things that I am wanting to do today so the plan is my plan actually is first of all to pop to Marks and Spencers because our local m and this is so boring if you're not UK based but our local m and is was closed for like two months and it is my favorite supermarket so my plan is to just quickly pop in there and grab us some stuff for dinner also see what it has taken them two months to do because they've apparently been refurbing so i am expecting big things um from our local lemoners so that is a very quick plan and then i have a pilates class booked for 4 30 so my thoughts are that i'm gonna pop to the gym we have like a co-working space in our gym so i will pop there get a few hours of work done maybe have a chai and then I can do my class and have a bit of a sauna after Pilates. So that is kind of the plan for the day. Jake's in the office, so I have lots of hours to myself, which is always, sometimes I find the days really long, but sometimes I love it. And today is one of those days where I love it because I've had a slower start, but I still feel like I have a lot of time left in the rest of the day. So yes, that was quite a long nap there and my camera is flashing at me. So. That is currently the plan for the day. I'm going to head to M&S, have a little mooch around because it is my favourite supermarket and get a few hours of work done. Pilates, sauna, rest, chill. I'm going to have a little mini pamper evening because I'm going to do some self-tan because we have a birthday party that we're going to this weekend. So I just want to make sure I'm all fresh for that. Oh my goodness, that is the busiest I have ever seen on local M&S 
ever. However, they have done a massive upgrade. I would have shown you, but honestly, it was so busy. Even the staff, I think, were a bit um, shocked at how busy that it was. But I think it was just everyone very excited to be in MS. I've got us a few bits for dinner, which is fab. I'm going to drop them home and then head to the gym. Honestly, just so nice. To, so weird, but I feel like we're quite a social occasion at MS today. Um, the staff were really chatty. It's just they're clearly very, very excited, which I'm just, I'm excited on their behalf. <laughs> um, so yes, that is, has been a lovely little break to the day. I've got some lovely new bits to try. Put myself a little baked good for tomorrow morning. So I'm going to drop this home because there is some stuff there for Jake's dinner that I don't want to leave in the car. Um, and then we're going to drive straight to the gym. guys it is now friday and i am just actually popping on to finish off this vlog i have been uploading and pre-uploading classes to soul shower today um i had quite a chilled slow day did an awful lot of cleaning which is very boring and i've been editing this vlog to get it up for you guys this sunday um i just thought i would pop on and have a final little chat and close off the vlog it's really funny i feel like this week has been just a really slow and steady week i'm really glad i got um some classes filmed for salt shallow because they are just looking so beautiful and i'm really 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 pleased with just the quality of classes coming around this time what are we at like yeah 23rd of august gosh it's almost towards the end of august but it's funny because it's been now almost i'd say almost a year maybe just over a year since I basically took Soul Shower on full time and started putting all of my everything into that. And it is just so nice to see some of those classes beginning to really just take the, the exact vision I had and come to life and just see that space grow. It's definitely been a slow process and it continues to be, but in the past year we've relaunched and it's just, it's all beginning to come together slowly, but very steadily, which is just, I'm really, really pleased about. Um, so yeah, that is a little reflection I've been having today as I've been editing classes and finishing things off that just is a little moment of like a glimmer there of I'm really just so pleased with what's going on there and the community we have growing. It's just, it's a really, really special place and I'm actually in the process of planning a few classes in terms of the next, the rest of the year, which is also very exciting but with that being said I think I don't know if I mentioned but when I was filming classes on Wednesday I also filmed a little bit of content for Instagram and it just got me thinking that I might pop on and just have a little chat about this um now for those of you who might have been here for a little while you might have followed me first on Instagram and then you've made your way over here um this might come as a bit of a shock but I have been recently really really thinking about um not only my social media consumption I don't actually consume social media off of YouTube very much at all anymore but just thinking about how can I change my work and really allow it to carry this energy of slowness of mindfulness of if I want to have this feeling of creating a life that is very much slow living, mindful living, very much this soft energy. How can I make sure that all of my work is also feeling like that? And this idea of like slow, intentional, really beautiful, mindful creation is something that I've really been sitting with for quite a few months now and thinking about what that means for me. And I love YouTube. I think YouTube is such a really beautiful space where I can come on and create these lovely long vlogs for you and they are filled with so much intention, so much mindfulness. However, um, as we probably know, as you may not realise, but obviously I have the soul shower and I have my work that I do and social media is a form of marketing for me as a teacher and my main form of marketing for a really, really long time since I started was definitely Instagram. and. I don't know, I'm going through a bit of a moment and I don't know if I'll always feel this way where it really does feel like Instagram is what they'd call short form content and it's 
trying to condense everything into a really short amount of time it takes tons of energy you would think that a short video would actually take less time but it actually takes so much more time than even sitting and doing this with you does and I also more even more so than that really wanted to think about well what is the energy and what is the intention I'm trying to share with whatever community it is I connect with on the internet on social media and actually I don't want to create this feeling of like anticipation and anxiety and I do feel like short form content can sometimes create that or create these feelings of comparison or create these feelings of needing to do things really really quickly and that is actually the opposite of what I teach and that is the opposite of what I believe in um so I've really been sitting with that as of late and as for those of you who do follow me over there you may have noticed that the content has kind of changed over there because I've decided that it's not really my main form of social media anymore. I really do feel like YouTube is a space where I'm much better suited and it's a space where I actually really enjoy giving a little bit more time to. So things are shifting at the moment. Instagram notification literally as we speak, another reason why. Um, but things are shifting at the moment and I definitely feel like the main sort of presence in my social media is moving over to YouTube. So. If you aren't already subscribed, I recommend you subscribe because this is becoming my main home from now on. For those of you who are with me over on Instagram, it doesn't mean I won't be there. I'll still be, be there a little bit, but it's just not going to be sharing in quite the way I was before. If you're wanting more of the day-to-day -day updates, this is more so the place to be because this is where you see more of the day-to-day, -day, whereas Instagram will just be kind of a repetition of whatever's on here. Saying that those of you who are members on Soul Shatter, our Soul Shatter Instagram page is still very, very much up and running. It is the space for members to get all of their updates, all of the community moments. So that, that's work and that's my worky page and that continues to be like that. It's just my personal page is kind of changing a little bit. It's going to become a little bit more personal and a little bit less... Um, constantly marketing which I think is going to feel nicer for you guys and also is going to feel so much nicer for me so that's a little bit of a change that I've had it might not be like this forever but I'm definitely taking a step back from Instagram and some forms of social media but it frees up time for me to be here with you even more so with that being said if you aren't already subscribed please do subscribe I'm here every Thursday and Sunday but I really hope you enjoyed seeing some moments outside of London, just a little bit of a change of scenery, but I also hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. If you did, let me know and I shall see you in next week's vlog. I'm sending you so much love. Um, I'm sending you also a reminder to be gentle with yourself with all of the things going on astrologically at the moment. And I shall see you in our next vlog here on my channel. Bye guys.